Welcome to the Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware. This is Mike Taylor, our technical expert of the business. Um, some interesting fact about Michael is he loves to crappie fish. Tell me how many crappie that you caught a couple weeks ago. Uh, 575. 575 crappie, the crappie king. <laughs> Massive fish fry that we have all the time, once a year. So, uh, But he's also very knowledgeable about boilers. And one of the things that I have found um, when, I'm, when I'm walking around, I found something interesting to talk about, and that is Ohio Special. Now we happen to be in front of an Ohio Special rental boiler. They're actually doing a, a, a little cleanup to it, a little acid job right now. But the interesting fact about an Ohio Special is that there is a certain square foot of heating surface um, in this boiler. Now, why don't you go through what that means and why they call it Ohio Special? Well, it means that the heating surface can't be over 360 square feet, or you have to have a licensed operator, okay, full-time operator in the state of Ohio. This law was enacted back in 1911, mm. and it's still in effect. So. Basically, the boiler manufacturers have come up with a way of making boilers all the way up to 225 horsepower with 360 square feet of heating surface so that they don't have to have a licensed operator. Now, Michael, today's boilers are five square foot of uh, heating surface uh, per boiler horsepower. Right. So what would an Ohio Special be? Well, if you take a 200 horsepower Ohio Special at 360 square feet, that's less than two square foot per boiler horsepower. So what are they actually doing there? I mean, they're actually taking a 70 horsepower boiler shell, uh -huh. which is 360 square feet, and putting a bigger burner on it and just throwing the fire to it. Any issues with uh, scale and things like that that you have to watch out? Everything for? becomes a lot more critical on a typical five square foot boiler. If you get an eighth of an inch of scale in it, it you're you get less efficient, but you're not going to hurt the boiler. But a no how special because you're trying to pour so much fire into it, you get an eighth inch of scale, you start having two failures. Okay. So it's, everything becomes a lot more critical with it. Now, is, uh, in the state of Ohio, is it, is it the only state in the country? That's that the only state. And okay. who knows why they enacted the law, but it's been there since 1911 and, and still in effect and everybody has to go by it. So in the state of Ohio, uh, a lot of boilers in a boiler room, not just not just one boiler, two boilers, a, a, a larger boiler that you will see. Right, cause, because the expense of full-time operators, mm -hmm. you know, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if you're a process plant or a heating plant, uh, so if they need a 2,000 horsepower of heating or steam load, then mm -hmm. they'll just put in 10 200 horsepower Ohio specials and don't have to have an operator. Wow. <laughs> So pretty good for service work in, in Ohio, I'm sure. Oh yeah, lots lots more bowlers. Yeah, that's right. Small bowlers, lots more work. So you're getting quite a bit of, uh, you, can, you can really put together a large boiler room just by putting multiple boilers in sequence. Just banking them together, right. And then the, no operators for that? No. Okay, <laughs> pretty interesting. <laughs> Well, there you have it from the Crappie King. A um, <laughs> little bit about the Ohio Special. Hope that uh, is some information for you. Maybe go out and even research that a little bit, especially that whole Titanic thing. It was, it was before the Titanic, right? Right. It was enacted. So, yeah. Uh, still don't know the exact reason, but uh, uh, there you have it. Ohio Special Boilers. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Michael stopping by and talking with us. One thing to remember on the Ohio Special is that it's all low pressure, all high pressure, and hot water boilers in the state of Ohio. Well, make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, maybe share a video, subscribe to the YouTube channel for us. Have a blessed day. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.